Good morning. Today's Holy Mass on this Tuesday within the Octave of Easter is offered for the repose of soul Maria Pals. Entrance Antiphon. He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. <clears throat> Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. 
Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was a gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to him, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> so these readings that come from the resurrection about the resurrection are just filled with uh, theological underpinnings. And you know, one of the questions I, as I was meditating on this yes, this morning was, why did Mary Magdalene not recognize our Lord? And then the second question is, why why does she mistake him as being a gardener? Um, you know, remember, John is the most theological of all the Gospels. And uh, well, first off, it's just kind of, let's go into this Gospel in, uh, in a deeper level. But first of all, she's weeping, and she bends into the tomb, and uh, the angels say, Woman, why are you weeping? And she says, They have taken my Lord, and they don't know where, I don't know where they have laid him. Now, just, this isn't a theological uh, thing here, but I, when every time I read this, I always think about when you go to Catholic churches, and you know the tabernacle is nowhere to be found you know and like the, the i guess they move it to some side room but you know i i believe that the you know the tabernacle should be front and center you know where you can find them but anyway going back to my point um what happens here is is she she doesn't she feels like jesus has been taken away from her and then jesus behind her says woman why are you weeping and she thought it was a gardener okay now what this is is a reference. John is making a reference to the book of Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, remember, Adam was sent into the garden to, to till it, to protect it, and to cultivate it. And remember, Adam and Eve, before they sinned, had this very had this intimate relationship with, Je with God, that they walked with God, that they knew him totally. And so what John is, is I mean, this literally happened, but there's also a reference, this, this mistaking Jesus as being the gardener means that Jesus is the new Adam. And that he, because he has risen from the dead, has given us all the opportunity, regardless of our sins and our mistakes and, our, and what we've done in the past, that because of him being ris, uh, risen from the dead, and that we have now the sacraments, and the new covenant and, and, and all this, that we can be in that right relationship with God like Adam and Eve were in the garden. And you also notice that the first, in the Bible, the first person that Jesus appears to is Mary Magdalene. Now, uh, theologically, we've always sort of thought that, that the first person that Jesus appeared to was, his, or was Our Lady. That's not in the Bible. And I don't know if that's uh, official church teaching, but according to the Bible, the first person that he a, a, appears to is Mary Magdalene. Because, and you think about Mary Magdalene, she had a very sort of spotty background. You know, she uh, was, uh, some people think she's a prostitute. She had uh, probably carried a lot of shame, but our Lord had forgiven her um, from her sins, and she's probably just so heartbroken. And But what our Lord is saying to, to her is like, look, Mary, you know, you now, because I've risen from the dead, you are in right relationship with me. That now, you and, and all Catholics, all Christians, all people now have the opportunity to walk with God like God walked with Adam and Eve in the Garden, I guess, in the in the, in the Garden of Eden. Um, you know, I think another sort of you know sort of tie-in spiritually is like now. I think everyone feels like you know they've taken my Lord and. And I don't know where they've laid him. And people have this feeling, but I think we have to understand is like God can never be taken away from you. You know that He's He's always with us. The risen Lord is with us in many many ways. Uh, he's still in every tabernacle. 
He's, and where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of, you're watching this video with more than, you're, hopefully they're not by yourself. <laughs> you know, if you aren't, praise God, you're there, your guardian angel's with you. But most people are watching it with someone. God is with you. He is present with you. He's walking with you. And, and I think, too, one of the, the gifts that many people, I was talking to a priest friend last night, you know, how, how's he doing with all this? And he said, you know what, Larry, he says, my, my relationship with Jesus Christ is growing so much more intimate, you know, because I have such much more time to pray and be with our risen Lord. And I think that's what our Lord is telling us today, that he is with us. And that and then we can also tell others that I have seen the Lord. And, uh, and the other thing, too, is he tells, he says, stop holding on to me. Right? And the, the point of that is the Lord is saying that I'm not just, you know, you are to take what you are experiencing, this friendship, and you're, you're to tell others that they also have this opportunity in the Catholic Church. Let us pray. And now we bring our petitions to the Lord. We pray for our church. We pray especially for the Holy Father and all priests, deacons, and religious around the world as we are in, in the midst of this octave and also the divine mercy novena that we all become you know, true instruments of God's mercy and love for the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our government that they enact laws to protect all human life from conception until natural death and also uh, and during this pandemic to, with the help of researchers and, and all these other um, uh, helps that they find a way to end this pandemic and get us back to life as normal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick and suffering. Uh, we pray uh, especially for all those that have come down with the coronavirus and those that care for them and those that um, you know, find, uh, you know, all these health care work workers that are probably getting little sleep during these times that God strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those that have died. We pray especially for the soul of Maria Powell's in whom this Mass is being offered, that she be with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our prayer. And we turn to Our Lady and ask for her powerful intercession as together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Let's read this water and wine. Let me come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble, contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Wash me over from my iniquities and cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands through the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received and attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plene sunt celia terra, Gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui benet in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, and our bishop, and all those who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen through Christ our Lord. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and when his eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious child in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery and Fidei, Mortem Tuam, Annunciamus Domine, Et Tuam, Resurrectione Confiteor, Tohonec Venias. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation, 
Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by, by the hands of your holy angels to your altar and high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants, especially Maria, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, through those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things. O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with light, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. An iuste hedi, qui tolis peccat amundi, miserere no hobis. An iuste hedi, qui tolis peccat amundi, miserere no hobis. An iuste hedi, qui tolis peccat amundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am I not am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only Lord, say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above. Or Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. And as this Communion Antiphon tells us to seek the things of God, at this moment, reach, uh, look up to heaven, ask our Lord to give you the grace of being spiritually in your hearts at this moment. Um, and ask him also just to continue in this Easter season to give you his peace and joy, knowing that he's walking amidst you.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, so today we'll have a very uh, the exact schedule as we did yesterday. Uh, the Eucharist will be exposed at Sacred Heart at 12 noon until 9 o'clock. There'll be opportunity to sign up on Sign Up Genius. And I, I really appreciate all just respecting the 10 person rule. They've been doing a great job with that and you know wiping the pews out, the pews down, and everything. But it's beautiful that we can do this. And I just thank you for your cooperation in this matter. And I also thank you for your prayers. Uh, also, there will be uh, confessions this evening from uh, 6 to 8. Uh, either near the Sacred Heart statue or near the chapel. Wherever you see the kneeler, that's where we'll be uh, during that time uh, for confession. Once again, you know, we're in the midst of this Divine Mercy uh, week, you know, and a great time to receive God's um, mercy and love uh, as we approach Divine Mercy Sunday, okay? And then once again, we'll have the Divine Mercy Novena. Uh, day five will be posted at three o'clock as we continue to pray for mercy for our world and for ourselves. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking among the souls. Amen. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Quia Quemeruisti Portare. Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit. Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum. Alleluia.